example to practice um, with products in a game format. I'm using an illumination product game board um, off of the internet. And what I want to do in this case is illustrate how to play the game. Okay, so using um, that idea, I'm going to go ahead and play this game if possible. Notice the board, I've got two players. In this case, you would have to play against somebody else. So I'm going to um, go ahead and play this game. So I'm going to make sure I click New Game. And then the first player, and it tells you right here, get four in a row by moving the markers to the numbers line to form products. Okay, so that's the objective. First player is blue. So I'm going to be blue. At this point, I could pick one. This is to illustrate like a paper clip. And I'm going to put my paper clip over one number. Right now, nothing is um, colored because it takes two factors to get a product. And remember, this is the product game. So now it's the red player or player two's turn. So they can move the other paper clip. And four times nine is 36. So therefore, red player has just got a fact a product of 36. Remember the point is to get four in a row. I'm a blue player so I could look at my four and my nine and I can move either one of those. I'm gonna go diagonal and try to um, perhaps block one of these. So if I move only the four I can get um, the 27 by moving it to a three. So there I go. Okay now it's a player two team and I could say well I want I'm going to shoot for up and down, so if I leave my 9, I can move it to the 6, and I could have 2 in a row, which is a really good move. Okay. <clears throat> now, as a blue player, I want to be conscious of the fact that I'm trying to get my 4 in a row, but I'm also trying to block them. So I can move, for example, one of my paper clips to, oh goodness, let's say, I can move it to 42, and therefore I still have two in a row diagonally. However, they're already moving in four to uh, in a row, so I want to make sure I block them. If they move this one to there, red has just got one up there too. So now I look at my choices, and I could say, hmm, which way do I want to go? And I could um, move one, two, for example, three, and try that. And I get 21, and as you notice, I wasn't thinking about my, where it was going to land, so I want to be a, aware of that. But now I do have um, 3 and 7 that I can use. And notice, as red person, I say, oh, good, I got a 3. I'm going to bring this back to 5, and all of a sudden, they've just about 1. Okay, so as blue player, the only thing I could do is try to block 25. And since one paper clip is on 5, I can use the other paper clip and block their move which in this case was a really good move. Okay, Now all of a sudden red is split up and blue has to be aware of what's going on um, because they could win now. Okay, So as a red player I want to try to block this little run that I see going. So I look and my options are five so, so I'm going to use five and move it to six so I've blocked them here and I'm going to keep this process going red versus blue until one of us is either wins or just like in tic-tac-toe I end up with a cat's game. Okay, so that's what I'm going to attempt to do very quickly here. But that is the way to play the game.